Heat energy, also called thermal, is the energy an object has because of the movement of its molecules. Heat energy is produced when a rise in temperature causes atoms and molecules to move faster and collide with each other. We experience heat energy throughout our day. Here are some examples. Let's suppose it's a cold winter morning. You wake up and turn the heater on. You have a cup of hot chocolate for breakfast, together with a pie you bake in the oven, and then iron your t-shirt to get ready to go to work. You go out, it's a sunny day, and you enjoy the warmth of the sun heating directly into your face. All these are examples of heat energy. The heat from a heater, a cup of hot chocolate, baking in the oven, iron in your clothes, the warmth from the sun. But how does it happen? How do we feel heat energy? Let's take this example. The hot chocolate has thermal energy. When you pour some cold milk into your hot chocolate, some of this energy is transferred from the chocolate to the particles in the milk. And this is how molecules behave. As cold particles heat, they contain more energy and so vibrate and separate. Heat can take the form of thermal energy, traveling from one object to another, making cool things hotter. There are three ways of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Let's see an example of each to understand how it works. Conduction is the flow of energy by direct contact in solids. It occurs when two objects of different temperature are touching, and the heat energy moves from the warmer object to the cooler one, in this case, from the pan to the steak. As the burner heats up, its atoms vibrate faster and its temperature rises, transferring some of their energy to the pan heat flows from the pan into the food and it continues until all the food is cooked. Heat from the top of the food is transferred to the air above. So, if you put the hands over the food, you feel the heat through radiation. Radiation is the heat transfer without any physical contact between objects, as in the example. The heat is transferred from the pen to your hand, without touching, through the air, through waves. Another common example of radiation is this. Alligators use radiation from the sun to warm their bodies, as the lizards do too. Convection happens when there is a difference in temperature between two parts of a liquid or gas, because fluids become less dense when heated. Let's take the example of boiling water on a saucepan. Water is heated at the bottom, it is less dense than the cold water above it, so it will rise to the surface. Once it gets there, it cools down again because it's further away from the heating source. This causes it to become more dense and sink. These movements of the water are convection currents, and that's why boiling water moves around so much. So remember, Heat can take the form of thermal energy traveling from one object to another, and this happens in three ways – conduction, convection, and radiation. Now it's your turn. Can you think which of these is an example of each? Leave your answers in the comments. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see when I upload my next class. See you.